Hi everybody, Vermont Survival is here. So, sorry it's been a while since I did a video. Been doing busy stuffing things. You know, black people stuff, selling drugs, robbing banks, stuff like that. And uh, so I want to touch on two subjects. Two subjects. Because... Well, because I want to. <laughs> All right, so there's two things. One is YouTube channels that prophesize. <laughs> I touched a little bit on it before. And uh, yeah. And also physical fitness because the boy did a video on physical fitness. And he's in a gym. So anyways. <laughs> we'll go. See here. Paper rocks middle finger. Alright. We'll go with the fitness first. Man. You see this a lot. And other YouTube channels. They talk about your fitness. You know, they talk about going out there and getting fit. You know? You know, you gotta get fit! You know, push-ups, sit-ups, negative dips. <laughs> it will get to that. You know, it, you, look. Indians didn't have gyms. You know what I mean? A lot of their work was physical. Like... I think if a shit hits the fan scenario, I mean, complete society breakdown, people are going to have no choice but to move or they're going to die. So to me, packing yourself in a gym, um, do I think you need to be fit enough to haul a pack? Yes. Yes, I do. I think you need to be fit enough to fight. But let me point out to everybody here, uh, and most of us already know this. You know, you've seen that biker guy, you know, the heavy set fucking biker guy that can crush coconuts with his bare fucking hands. You know what I mean? That butter bean looking motherfucker. You know what I mean? That that guy you just don't want to fuck with. Let's just face it, they're out there. And that big portly motherfucker can destroy X amount of fit motherfuckers in the drop of a hat. He can absorb blows like a battleship. <sighs> They're out there. Okay? And they don't have six-pack abs. And they don't go to a gym. Sometimes these guys' job dictates that they have to be physical. You, you get what I'm saying? Look, there is fitness fit, there's gym fit, and then there's straight-up survival fit. You know what I mean? This fighting fit. You know? Uh, so, I, I can understand people want to go to the gym. By all means, hell yeah, go to the fucking gym. I'm not saying don't go to the gym. All I'm saying is that this. You put me in a fucking situation like I am kind of portly. You know what I mean? But if you put me in a survival situation, I'm going to do just fucking fine. You know what I mean? Am I going to be as fast and as nimble as when I was younger? No. You know? But I'm not careless either. You get what I mean? I think in some situations, you know, there's going to be people, there's going to be big people, and they're going to adapt to it very well. And then you're going to get the other people, and even skinny people can't adapt to shit so they're gonna die so really there's no saying there's no set script on what you need to do to survive you know because everybody always points that out they always point shake their finger at you this is what you need to do this is what you got to do you got to do this you got to do that oh my god oh my just, 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 just. there's no rule book to it you know and uh it's not part of the plan 
There's no plan to survival, okay? There's no plan to it. You make the plan. Humans like make a plan. That's because we're so fucking arrogant that we think that if we plan it out that 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 we're gonna survive. And, and that's just not how it works. <sighs> Next subject. Oh wait, I wanna get so Wood was talking about, you know, whatever, and you're gonna die. And you know, me and Wood were talking over the phone. And I'm like, yo, bro, I was like, like he was talking about his three hundred pounds. I was like, let me tell you something, man. You're 300 pounds. My 300 pounds. We did just fine up in the mountain. We had packs on, dude. We were, we were, we were, we were mashing that fucking mountain. You know what I mean? We were doing just fine. And just think about this. If we were ever caught up in a survival situation with that 300 pounds, we would have been all right with going a few days without food. We would have been just fine. Because that porkiness... That soggy in the midsection, that's a mobile MRE right there. So, you know, don't knock the chunk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, next subject. We're going to go on prophesizing. I mean, you see this a lot. Motherfuckers prophesizing. You know what I mean? I prophesize this. I prophesize that. I just saw something on uh, Canadian Prepper. And he was like, see, I, I knew this was going to happen. You know, like he prophesized it. I mean, he has a good channel. You, you know, I'm, I'm not shitting on him. All right. He has a good fucking channel. Come on. You know what I mean? I'm going to pull some Negro Domus shit on you guys. Okay, ready? Ready? I prophesize that Dr. Fauci is going to write a bestseller book. <laughs> it's not prophesizing, dude. That's just how shit works. Let shit disasters happen. You know what I mean? That's like sitting there going, oh, yeah, I prophesize another pandemic happening. It's going to happen. You know what I mean? I prophesize that there's going to be a, a, a tornado or hurricane somewhere. Get the fuck out of here, man. You know what I mean? Like, everybody needs a... Well, this, like, they need a big pat on the back. Legitimize their... their, their uh, their, their YouTube channel or some shit like that, dude. It's so fucking stupid. Look, you want to prophesy something, prophesy the lottery numbers or some shit. You know what I mean? That's some morbid shit if you're just going to prophesy fucking some dead shit. You know what I mean? I prophesize a lot of people are going to die. Thanks. <laughs> How come nobody ever prophesizes good shit? They always prophesize bad shit. Oh, you want to hear why? Because bad shit always happens, so you're guaranteed to be right. Fucking stupid shit, dude. Fucking A. So, look. That's my video. I'm going to pull some more Negro Dama shit on you in the future. <laughs> That a cat down the street will get hit by a car. I'm not going to tell you when. I know that eventually a cat's going to get hit by a car. I know this is going to happen. It's the same thing as any... Look, disasters, they happen. So saying that you prophesy shit... Give me a break. You know what I mean? He said prophesized it, what, five years ago? <laughs> five years ago, you know what I mean? That, and if it was only ten years ago, you'd be like, I prophesized it ten years ago. I knew this was going to happen, you know? Oh, it's the most likely scenario. No shit, Sherlock. You know what I mean? Like, dude, pandemics happen. And... Tornadoes happen. Hurricanes happen. Floods happen. Natural disasters happen. So, 
Be prepared for it. Act accordingly. Look, bad shit happens. Just be prepared. There's no prophesizing in it. You're either prepared or you're not. You know? And if you're not prepared, then that doesn't mean that you're going to die. You know what I mean? That's the beautiful thing about not selling anything. You know what I mean? I can tell the fucking truth to people. It's the best thing in the world. So. Yes, sir. Oh, you guys see my new fucking toy? Well, not my new toy, but my new my new upgrade. <gasps> Paratrooper stock, my friends. Hold on, let's get this. I'll tell you, that makes all the difference. Oh, yeah. That thing is comfortable shooting, too. It's it's super comfortable. Super comfortable. Yes, it's snowing here in Vermont. Uh, the shit that's happening with this whole election thing, man. You know. That's it. I, I went back to my shell. I went back to watching the Illuminati conspiracy theories and UFO sightings on YouTube. <laughs> Remember back in the day? Remember back in the day that was it? It used to be Illuminati conspiracy theories and UFO sightings. And that was it. And now the whole Trump thing and all you saw was Trump all over the place. Trump. That's it. I lost my faith in the government. It's pretty fucked up, huh? But I thought I thought it was going to get cleaned out. I really did. And uh, now that swamp is too deep. Too deep. Too fucking deep. So that's my video, friends. I hope you're dark. Winter is doing great. And, uh, oh, let's just hope nothing happens. I'm hoping nothing happens. Let's just hope that nothing happens. Yes, I'm one of those guys that don't want anything to fucking happen. Look, I've seen war and it sucks. Okay. Uh, I like getting fat on pizza and Chinese food. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's it's nice, you know what I mean? Uh, so anyways, there we go. Uh, that's my video, folks. Gotta wipe the snot. Ugh. Vermont Survivalist, as always, thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the tribe. And if you are been part of the channel, you know the drill, motherfuckers. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys staying tuned and, and commenting. Um, awesome. Awesome. I, I, I got, I've been getting a lot of good comments lately. And uh, you guys are fucking awesome, by the way. I would have uh, definitely some honey mead with it. Every last one of you guys. Actually, I'm going to be making that shit. Honey mead. So that's pretty fucking cool. So anyways, I'm babbling. So anyways, Vermont Survivalist, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Good to go.